With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that there is a smooth rod OP, it is fixed vertically. Now a disc of mass M and radius R is rolling without slipping at the given instant on a rough horizontal surface as shown in the figure. Now the velocity of the center of mass is given as to be V0. Now since it is rolling uh, uh, this uh, without slipping, so we can say that velocity of center of mass, uh, this is given as to be uh, V0. This would be equals to R into omega if omega is the angular velocity. Okay. Now a rod AB of length L is connected to the disc at R by 2. Okay. Uh, uh, distance vertically up from the center of the disc uh, within the joint. Now other end of the rod is attached to a small uh, smooth ring B which is which can move freely over the rod OP. Now at that instant rod AB makes an angle 60 degree with the vertical we need to find what is the velocity of the ring on the uh, this vertical rod at that instant of time. Okay. Now what is this velocity we call this velocity as to be V we need to find the value of the V. Okay. Now what we know we know that velocity velocity of the uh, along the rod these are basically same for each and every point on the rod okay this is due to the constraint motion so along the rod the velocity should be same that means if v is the velocity at this end what is the velocity along this rod it would be equals to v cos of 60 degree so this component would be equals to the total uh, uh, component of velocity along the rod at this location a okay what would be the component now a point is basically directly vertically uh, above our uh, uh, this center so what are the velocities here so one velocity would be due to the velocity of the center of mass which would be equals to v0 okay now other velocity would be due to rotation what is the velocity due to rotation and the direction would be exactly same because it is tangential and if it is just above the surface so tangent would be in the uh, this positive x direction so this and what is this value it would be equals to r into omega now what is r r is basically the distance what is the distance it is r by 2 so we can say that velocity of the point a this would be equals to r omega velocity of point A, it would be equals to R omega plus V naught. Now from here we can get the value of omega. Omega would be equals to V naught divided by R. Okay. Now what is the value of R? The radial location of the point A, it is equals to capital R divided by 2. Omega value is V naught divided by R plus V naught. So this is the velocity of A. If we solve this, then this would turn out to be 3 V naught divided by 2. This is the velocity of A. Now velocity of A is the, in this direction. Okay. So what is the component of velocity in this direction? What is this angle? If we find what is this angle, this angle would be equals to this angle. Okay. Corresponding angle. So this angle is third, uh, this uh, 60, this angle would be 30 degree. So this angle would again be 30 degree. So we say that velocity of A along this direction would be equals to, if you take the component, it would be equals to V A cos of 30. Now this V A cos of 30 in this direction and this V cos of 60 in this direction, they should be same. Why? Because each and every point along the length of the wire, uh, sorry, rod would have the same velocity because it is a rigid rod. So we can say that our VA cos of 30 should be equals to velocity of the ring into cos of 60. Now we can put the value of VA. VA is 3, V0 by 2. Cos of 30 is root 3 by 2. V we don't know. And cos 60 is 1 divided by 2. If we solve this, then our V would turn out to be this 2 and this 2 would be cancelled. It would be 3, then root 3, V0 divided by 2. This is the velocity. So which is the correct option? Correct option would be our a option 3 root 3 v not divided by 2 hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today